I'm going to jail. Test. There's no need for a sobriety test or nothing. A former California sergeant now faces multiple charges. Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. In March of 2023, Sergeant Dustin Witt and another deputy from the Merced County Sheriff's Office responded to reports of an accident. Upon their arrival, they found the driver of the vehicle, Lewis Jackson. What's going on, man? How you doing? Good, good. Yeah, I don't know. Stop. Sorry, I'll see you when you get down. Hi. So what happened? I, I, I tried to take um, Belcher, honestly, uh -huh. for a short way to go down here. But honestly, I this road, I, I swear, I just didn't even know where I was going. Lewis quickly took responsibility for his actions and admitted that he was intoxicated. OK, honest with you, OK? I'm going to be transparent with you, OK? Right. All right. Um, just because due to the condition that the, the car went through the fence stu and stuff, and you did say you had been drinking, but okay, I'm gonna have uh, a I'm going to jail. Test. There's no need for a sobriety test. There's nothing like hey, I'm, a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, hey, I'm a, girl, sir. So, yeah. You said wait right here, okay? So look, they're, they're just, they're gonna do their test, okay? But I'm just wanting, I'm not to waste your guys' time. There's no need for a sobriety test. I'm drunk. Okay. I've been drinking. There's Up to this point, the interaction had remained calm. But it took a turn as Lewis took offense to something Sergeant Dustin Witt said to his girlfriend. Driver to drive the car, right? Not necessarily. You really uh, so, That's not even. That's not even crazy. So for you to get at my girl like that. Okay, hey, 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 give me a minute. Hey, bro. Stop. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Get off. Listen, bro. Get off. Get off. Okay, we got him. We got, got him. him. Okay. Place your hands behind your back. Section B of California Penal Code, Section 835A, says an officer may use objectively reasonable force to effect an arrest, prevent escape, or overcome resistance. After being tased and the first kick to his head, Lewis immediately snaps his hands behind his back, but Sergeant Dustin Witt proceeded to kick Lewis in the head three more times and then stomped on his head twice. The beating is so terrible that the lower ranking deputy grabbed his sergeant's wrist to stop him from further injuring the man. And now with Lewis unconscious, Sergeant Witt forces the handcuffed and incapacitated man's face into the dirt with his boot. The lead deputy does nothing to render aid. Instead, he removes the taser wires. We got him. Okay. Place your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back now. Are you gonna get another tase? Listen. Hold me, you got him? Yep. Roll over. Partner, roll over. Roll over. Hey. Stop playing like that and roll over. Okay. Roll over. Come on. 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 I'm sorry, okay, sir. Sit up. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. Sit up. I'm sorry. Sit up. After the incident, the sheriff recorded a public statement 
we immediately started an internal affairs investigation and requested the Merced County District Attorney's Office to review this incident for a possible criminal investigation. I felt it was of extreme importance to share this incident with our community as soon as I was able to, not only to be transparent, but also to show the actions taken by one of our staff members. I want to be clear that this incident was isolated and does not reflect the actions of the rest of our agency. After the completion of that investigation, Sergeant Witt resigned his position with our agency. Sergeant Witt's actions are unacceptable and does not reflect the training and professional standards taught by the Merced County Sheriff's Office. While I am extremely disappointed with how this incident was handled by Sergeant Witt, I am encouraged that it was because of our own internal use of force review process that this incident was discovered. The Merced County District Attorney's Office conducted the criminal investigation and has filed the following charges against Dustin Witt. Penal Code Section 149, which is battery by a peace officer. Penal Code Section 245A, parent 4. It's assault likely to cause great bodily injury and enhancement for both crimes causing great bodily injury. We at the Sheriff's Office strive to be professional in all aspects of our enforcement duties. The type of behavior seen in this video is not acceptable now, nor will it be in the future. The Sheriff made these bold claims four months after the incident, but this type of behavior has been acceptable in the past. For starters, Sergeant Dustin Witt and another Merced Sheriff were involved in a drunken brawl back in 2019 where they beat up another officer and an innocent bystander. For that incident, Sergeant Witt was convicted of a misdemeanor and demoted from sergeant to deputy before later being re-promoted back to sergeant. I want to be clear that this incident was isolated and does not reflect the actions of the rest of our agency. The Merced Sheriff's Office declined to comment on why Witt was not fired following that incident. But this wasn't even the first time Witt had kicked somebody in the head. In April of 2011, a lawsuit was filed with the United States District Court of the Eastern District of California, in which Dustin Witt was named as a defendant. The lawsuit claims that Dustin Witt yelled at a woman to end her call and to give him the cell phone. The woman ended the call, but put the phone down her pants, and Deputy Witt threatened that if she didn't get the cell phone for him, he would go down her pants to get it himself. He would then use that cell phone to call the home's owner to demand that he return to the house and open his gun safe. But immediately after ending that phone call, Dustin Witt and the other defendants destroyed the safe and broke it open. And less than 10 minutes later, the homeowner returned home. He was upset that the men had broken his safe after asking him to return to the property. The defendants immediately arrested the man during which he was choked by the officers. At some point during the struggle, Defendant Witt ran into the room, kicking and kneeing the man in his eyes, after which he would use his personal cell phone to take pictures of his victim while strapped to a gurney. I want to be clear that this incident was isolated and does not reflect the actions of the rest of our agency. Fast forward to June of 2023, and Sergeant Witt was finally allowed to resign just three months after the most recent incident. He was then charged by the county prosecutor. But had this been you or I, it's likely that each kick would have been a separate charge. However, law enforcement and the prosecutor's office consistently works together in criminal cases, and it appears Sergeant Witt has been given a softball pitch, especially considering his previous conviction and lawsuit. The responding deputy was not charged or forced to resign, despite failing to remove Witt's foot from the man's head and allegedly failing to report the incident to supervisors. In fact, it appears the deputy may be featured on the agency's Facebook page, though that has not yet been confirmed. As your sheriff, you entrust me to make sure that our actions are reflective of the quality and behavior that our citizens deserve and expect. It breaks my heart to have to share this incident with you, but rest assured this is not something I take lightly. We will continue to review our use of force policies and training to continue to improve how we protect Merced County. Thank you. At this time, we have no resolution to the charges against Dustin Witt. In fact, his name doesn't even appear on a search for public records in that county. But if there ever are any updates, I'll be sure to let you know. So, I'd like to know what you think. Is the sheriff sincere, or do you think he made this video 
because they got caught. Let me know in the comments down below, and if you enjoyed this video, remember to like and share it, and be sure to check out another episode linked on screen.